pro-aging in a youth-obsessed world this morning, also on Say Yes to You. When I first got to Dallas in the 80s, I remember seeing photos of hometown model Jan Strimple walking the runways of Paris for houses like Yves Saint Laurent. Fast forward 40 years, Jan's still working in fashion in front of the camera and as the brains behind some of the premier fashion shows in Dallas and elsewhere. Who better to chat with about aging and how to say yes to you in our beauty and youth obsessed culture? Do you ever, as we age, <laughs> do you ever look in the mirror and get a little less than self-loving about what you see. Gosh, I'm in a business, you're like, oh, like I did some sh shooting the other day and I was, you know, we're laughing and doing this and I was like, uh, Anthony, uh, there's a lot of loose skin right here. You know, he's like, oh, I'll take care of that. And I was like, well, maybe not too much, you know, just maybe just a little bit because I, you know, I'm 68. And my industry mm -hmm. has been for many years the reason that people have felt badly about themselves because they didn't measure up to these uh, retouched standards and these perfect lighting and 15 people working on this styled set or this photo shoot to make things. We're purging and purging isn't pretty. And when we purge and we get rid of all these false mm -hmm. idols, these false ideals, these things that aren't real, less than perfect bodies will be uh, accepted. It should be all of us because too many, too many young gay people have taken their lives because our world said you have no place here. Too many young teenagers have taken their life because they don't, they don't think that they measure up. But again, it goes measure up to, to what? Jan says her self-acceptance and love started with a loving family. Teenage girls are prone to self-destruction to, oh, I don't like this. Oh, my hair, oh, my eyes, I wish my blah, blah, blah. My father would not have any of that. He would, I remember several times, that he would walk me over to a mirror and stand behind me, it makes me cry, because he's not here any longer, but, and look in the mirror and say to us, do you have two eyes? Do you have two arms? Do you have two legs? Do you have more than a lot of people I have, Jan? Don't even go there. So we, we were raised to, to celebrate the positive and identify what we do have and not focus on what we don't have. Because I had such a comfortable upbringing in my inner value and worth that a, there's a question that I have advised a lot of the, uh, my associates and interns that I have spent time with throughout the last 25 years in my business especially to ask themselves. Am I enough? And then, by, then you say, well, am I enough by whose standards? Who are you giving your life to, to judge you? So ask yourself if you're enough. And if you, your answer is yes, then you don't, then, then that's the beginning of self-love. And love is what got her through a battle with breast cancer. For me, I wasn't gonna wrap my head, I wasn't gonna wear a wig. I'm like, I, it's kinda like, you know, I am what I am. It's that old drag song, you know? I mean, it's, you, you are who you are. And I thought, I'm just gonna go out and buy the biggest, most fantastic pair of earrings I can find, wear just amazing makeup and go out and run the first show of the season here in Dallas, which was the Leukemia Lymphoma Society luncheon show. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. So That's for right. women who may be experiencing going through something like that, uh, you've been there, you know? So, so what would you say to those women? I would say, this is what I would say. I would say this is a visitor. It's not you. It's not in your, it's just visiting your body. So expel it first and then think about how not to invite it back. If you're gonna <laughs> indulge in something that is just self-care, self-love for Jen, what do you love? What do you do? Um, I'll, well, two things. I am huge on massage. I love and hugely believe in massage therapy. And then um, cooking is a creative passion of mine. So, um, yeah, we've always thought, would it be funny to open a restaurant? And then I thought, no, I'm not going to cook for other people. Only people I love. <laughs> okay, but I want your pasta recipe. Oh, <laughs> I will share it. You're a girlfriend. I will share it. <laughs>
<laughs> Still waiting for that pasta recipe, Jan. Jan just finished a new campaign for a leading local luxury retailer who wanted a mature woman to show off its fabulous stuff.